hello in this video I'll be showing us how to install a MySQL server on Windows 10 so let's jump in um, we go to open your Google browser and you go to downloads yeah you, you get type in MySQL server download and this is what you get when you get here um, you can go straight to the MySQL server installer. This is 5.5. But let's go to the main page. So the general, the one that is available here is 5.7. It's more current. So let me click on this. Downloads. So here we come. We need a. Uh, I'm, I'm installing on Windows 10, Microsoft Windows, so we, 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 we choose Windows here. And this is the version, community version. Community version is the free one, it's free. So when you get here, you go to installation instructions. From here, we want to install Massacre of Microsoft Windows, so go there. So the Microsoft Windows says simple installation method. Download MySQL. Uh, the, the simplest way is to download the MySQL installer from this website, from this uh, web page. So we're right here. So you can choose a MySQL web, web community file or installer community. If you are connected to in, in the, if you are going to be installing while you are connected to internet, you, you choose this web community. But if you are not going to be connected while you are installing, you choose this installer. Uh, it says note, MySQL installer is 32 bit, but we install both 32 and 64 bit binaries. So, so here we, we what we have here now is the MSI installer. Um, this is the web community, and this is the community. Depends on whether you are going to be connected to internet while you are installing or not. If you are not connected, you choose this. If you are connected while you are installing, you choose this. Okay, so you click download here, and then uh, you download. You can do your, you can check it with this whether you have, you have downloaded the right, um, whether you, what you downloaded is has maintained its integrity. So, having downloaded it, you, you go to where you downloaded and you run it. Um, download. This is what you get. As you get, right click on this and you run. So you click install and it begins to install. When it installs, the first thing it tells you is it checks your requirements of your system. If you have all the things required for the installation, but if you don't have, it tell you. Uh, one of the things it will tell you is to install uh, Python if you want to do the uh, use Python uh, program 3.4. So I downloaded Python. You right click and install Python and then the installation you click execute and it continues and then this is what you have this is what you get 
it installs it uh, download and installs all these 11 uh, softwares for you so we are here we have completed this um, we will now move on to the next stage we will now walk through a configuration wizard for each of the following products you can cancel at any time if you wish to leave this wizard without configuring all the products ok my SQL server is ready to configure and the samples and examples are also ready to configure Thank you, nice. so type configuration so, choose the correct server configuration for this musical server installation this setting will define how much system resources are assigned to musical server instance configuration type is development machine server machine development machine dedicated machine so we choose a, by default we went to dev development you can choose a development machine because I'm use, we are using it for developing our software it's not a production site so use the following co controls to select how you would like to config, connect this to this uh, server TCP yes already there the port is this the profile work port for network access yes named pipe um, pipe name is MySQL and then um, shared memory is, name is MySQL advanced configuration select this checkbox you go to get additional configuration page where you can set advanced options for this server options show advanced options you can check advanced options um, I want to record my configuration that I'm making. Uh, so we have checked this. This will allow you to to be able to connect to remote remote um, remote server as a lot of your computer. And you'll be able to now have space to, to configure it for that. Let's go to the next stage. My root password. You put a root password. So my support account user. So also that one it allows us to add that add um create my SQL user account for your users and application. Assign a role to the user that consists of a set of privileges. So we can add the uh, users roles to um, user roles and that's very very good. Um we'll get our root passwords. I have to make one.
Okay, so but uh, let's say let's not add uh, this is a row. Okay, let's not add any is a row. We just go on. Add this as just have only root as user now. So in the service. So Windows service start the server as start up system start up. Okay. Um we want to do that if we can stop it. And we start it. I run Windows Server as standard account. Okay. Open an extension as you can see it's store. Use the following control tools. So that's how you would like to connect to this server. Enable export code as you can see the command store. Of this, the group I work out of the net for network access. I say document store. Click here to view my security document store online documentation. Mm -hmm. well, I, 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 I don't want to carry on with that. Advanced options. Error log will be here. Error log. Bypass. Slow query log. Being log. Okay, the general log. The general query log is general. Here record on, on what magical server is doing. So it will be used to track down issues. And the file part is here. Mm -hmm. This is your laptop. If you want to track down issues, we can do that. But maybe when we have, if we have issues, we can come back. We run the separate setup again and then we, we click on it. Bin log, the binary log um, contains all data based events and is used for replication and data recovery operations. It has a performance impact on the server. Only a file in this should be given as the server will append an appropriate extension. So, um, this again is, is used for replication and data recovery operations. Mm, we need to do that. We can come run the system again. The server ID of our instance now we're setting up is one. So we move on to the next. Apply server configuration. Press execute. Apply the changes. Okay, so we, 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 we go. It says configuration of MySQL server is no longer than expected. If you want to continue with it or cancel the configuration, keep pushing and get this message again. I said, okay. Setting server. So 
um, okay. So configuration for my circuit server 5.7.13 has succeeded. Please click finish to continue. We now work through a configuration wizard for each of the following products. You can cancel at any time if you wish to leave this wizard without configuring all your products. In my circuit server 5.7.13, the configuration is complete. Samples and examples ready to configure. Samples and examples. Okay. Now give us here yeah, the compatible servers installed. If more than one, please select one. Okay, so that installs by 64 bits um, server for me, binary for me, because my computer is 64. Even though the installer itself is 32 bits, but if you are having the 30 bit, if you have 32 bit uh, system operating system, it will install that by 32 for, for you. And now give us the country credentials we which you use needs to have root privileges. Click check to make sure they work. Okay, now give us the credentials which you use needs to have root privileges. Okay, for this uh, installation, we we'll click check to make sure they work. Connection successful, so it works. It works. Work. Okay, so we we'll go um, move on. Connect to server. Okay. Press execute to apply the changes. Okay, configuration of samples and examples. Let's click finish and continue. We will now work through configuration of each of the following products. The both of them are completed. Selection is complete. Selection procedure has been completed. Uh, copy and log the clipboard, clipboard. And copy this to clipboard. Copy that and uh, Here's our log. Selection log. So from here you can find out how the installation went. So click finish. So we have already installed the MySQL server. If you can come to here, you see it here. It's the command line. You click on the up. All apps. That's it. Yeah. So the MySQL server has been installed. So the next thing we'll do will be to to inst install a, a database management a database manager, and uh, we can we can use a PHP my, my admin. But that will be the next uh, the next video. So thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you have benefited from the video. See you on, on my next